All right, this time around, Annie asks, how do you feel about energy? Well, as you might imagine, I'm a big fan. Energy powers my coffee maker, so you know I'm on board. It might be that when people are talking about that, they're looking for something a little bit deeper. And in fact, looking for something deeper seems to be one of the main things that people who talk about energy and vibrations and, and things like that are, are really driving at. So often when people are looking to stuff like that, they reference physics and quantum mechanics and things like that, and they say that what appears solid in the universe is actually particles and waves and energy moving around. And, and if you can look past appearances, if you can understand or somehow harness or somehow use or get in touch with that energy, you're on your way to a, a richer experience of life. And things like healing and transformation and stuff like that, uh, it becomes easier if you understand how energy works as a property of the physical universe. And I think that's great. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that. It's definitely a, a kindred idea to what I'm working on. I'm always trying to get people to look past appearances. So anybody that's doing that on any level with any technique is going to be a friend of mine. I think it's a beautiful thing to think about that and to work on it. And I think that there are people who would argue that vibrations and energy and stuff like that brings about great results. Anything like that that brings about results is great. So let me be as clear as I can. There is nothing wrong with going to a, an energy person or a vibration person. If that works for you, then you have my blessing. There's nothing wrong with understanding the physical universe in that way. But the thing for me is it's not really all that interesting to me because it's not what I'm trying to do. I think there's nothing wrong with going for a physical healing in the same way that, you know, if you get a splinter in your finger, you can pray about it all you want. You can think about it all you want. You can read about it and research it, and all of that is great. But there's a level at which the physical answer of getting some tweezers is probably the best thing to do in that moment. If you have a headache, there's nothing wrong with taking some ibuprofen. It's okay to go for a physical solution. But, and here's the important thing, you're not taking the ibuprofen because your body has some kind of ibuprofen deficiency. Real healing, real transformation, real moving forward, real growth has to come from some place deeper. Otherwise, you're going to keep repeating the same patterns. And I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. So yes, it's great that the, the physical universe is, is more than what you think. But I think the really interesting stuff happens on a level more fundamental and more profound than energy, than anything physical. If you look up the word energy in the dictionary, it's a property of physical matter. It's a material thing. There's stuff floating around, and that's great. But I think that there's more. After all, you can't tell me that Something like the reason why art is art, the reason why you like your favorite song, the thing that happens when you experience true love, you cannot explain those things to me in terms of chemistry, in terms of waves and particles, in terms of energy. There is something more going on than anything that is measurable on physical terms. In other words, I think the physicality is a result. It's an effect, not cause. And sometimes you can get results in dealing with effects. But real change has to happen deeper. I'll put that a different way. You can hang out with Jesus or the Buddha or the Dalai Lama or Dick Van Dyke. And if you don't have a change that happens in your heart, you can have a miserable time. You can choose not to learn. You can choose dysfunctional patterns and habits no matter who you're with or where you are or what kind of special seminar or workshop you've been to. The change has to happen on a spiritual level, on a more than material level. So if you do some physical things that help you get to a place where you can make a change, that's fine. But the change has to happen inside of you. So the energy stuff, that's great. It's not what I'm interested in because I'm working on a spiritual level. And that's not a judgment. I think it's great if people want to do that. But let's look 
for a change that's deeper than what physicality can do. Let's look for a change that happens on the same level as falling in love. I want you to fall in love with your life, and that's something you can't measure with a scale. That's something you can't measure with a meter. It's something that happens, and then the world changes. So thanks for the questions. Thanks for sending them in. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. Thanks for sharing the videos. A lot of people have been sharing the videos uh, a lot more lately, so thank you very much for that. And as always, thank you for going to facebook.com slash Randolph and clicking that like button. It means the world to me. Take care of yourself.